guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to talk about power supplies. So I have a couple of power supplies with me today, all right? And the one that we are going to take apart is this one right here. The reason why I want to take apart this power supply is because this is the one that you're going to find in most gaming computers as far as like pre-built or maybe older ones something along the lines it's substantially enough power to run a system correctly but it has all these ketchup and mustard cables and it's just an eyesore but it's very dirty and taking apart a power supply especially if you don't know what you're doing can be deadly if a power supply believe it or not even when your power supply is disconnected unplugged from the wall sitting on the shelf for a year there are still capacitors and other components inside of this power supply that can still hold a charge and still blow up and kill you okay like it's that kind of serious but that's if you are poking and prodding around in there with a screwdriver if you're using water if you got it plugged in while you're doing it I mean there's all kinds of little things but for the most part if you just take it apart blow it out with the blower all right you'll you should be okay but if you want to do a little bit more deep cleaning, then you have no choice but to take it apart. So, that's what I'm going to do. We're going to take this one right here apart. Okay, so there are a couple of tools that you guys are going to need. First thing you're going to need is gloves. Alright? Second thing you're going to need is a good toothbrush some type of plastic tool that you can use to scrape or dig at a screwdriver to remove the four screws or the fan screw and then an electric static ESD brush this is a specially made plastic bristle brush that doesn't static discharge off you don't want to use anything metal second thing I got is alcohol this is what we're going to use to clean it. You don't want to use peroxide, water, distilled water, mineral water, nothing. You want to use alcohol, all right? Alcohol is what you want to use. And then you're going to need a towel and you're going to need some paper towels. So the first thing that I did was to go ahead and pop off the four screws at the top right here and that top cover should just pull away but be careful when you pull this top cover away because it may be attached to the fan all right when you look inside of a power supply you're going to see a couple of things you're going to notice these big capacitors uh, different types of alternators and generators and just all kinds of different things going on but one thing that I do notice is all of the dust that's inside of it look at all that dust thing off with a blower so there is quite a bit of dust in here as you guys can see and what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to remove all of that the best we can without using any type of metal tools no metal in here if you were to use a metal tool for any reason and it was to short one of these things out it could blow up on you it is that serious so we're going to go ahead and we're going to get our alcohol out because that's the first thing that we're going to use is some alcohol. So I'm going to put the camera back like so. All right, so we got a rubbing alcohol and then I got this one. This one right here has a point to it and that's the one that I'm going to use first. Here we got our towel. So we're just going to wet, wet it real good. And alcohol is okay to do this with. It's not going to mess anything up. Alright. 
Now since I got it, you're going to want to clean out these heat sinks. You want to be careful with it. You don't want to be careful with it. You don't want to be rough, just kind of smooth with it. But you want to get that nice and clean. These side vents here. Just try to get as much as you can off the circuitry and these wires as I possibly can. Kind of get in there, get the back of that PCB real good. All right, and then I'm gonna go with my ESD brush and try to get in there even deeper with it. Brush it, because remember you want to be gentle with it. You don't want to short nothing out or knock something loose or any of those kind of things because it can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Now I've been doing this for years, so. I feel comfortable with doing this. Look at all the dust coming out of there. I feel very comfortable doing this because this is probably my 100th power supply that I've taken apart. But you just kind of want to get in there real good and try to get all that stuff out the best you can. Don't worry about the fan so much. The fan you can get a, you can get later. You can just remove the four bolts and then we're gonna wipe out the shroud. So anyway, we got it like that, and I'm going to tilt it this way, and rub alcohol in there and try to flush out any of that dirt and grime. Alright, so I'm just going to set it like that, use my paper towel, and try to soak up some of that alcohol in there. kind of wipe down anything that I was touching like so move the fan screws if you want to you can use a leaf blow all right you don't want to use compressed air out of an air like an air tank or a compressor because there's moisture in those lines and that moisture can end up on your components so I use a leaf blower because it's plenty of air and there's no moisture in it. So that works great. And then Okay. It's real good. It's good to knock this dust off of these blades because these blades on these fans are balanced and dust built up can cause the blades to be slightly unbalanced and what that will do is that will eventually wear out the motor or the balancer, the bearings and stuff inside your fan. It will it'll cause weight to be on one side and over a period of time it will warp them and then what will happen is, is you'll be able to pick this up and wiggle it. That's a pre-tell sign that a fan is going to fail. Wipe this sucker out real good. Get all that dust out of there. So, after you got your fan, okay, after you get your fan and your fan grill reattached, all you need to do is put the cover back on, all right, and you want to do it very carefully. Do not force it. If you feel like it's not just sliding on, like something is in the way or it's catching somewhere, don't force it. Just put it in. The Try to play with it. See if if where you're putting it at is wrong or right. Okay, so it goes like that. All right. All right, guys. So that's it. That is how you 
clean and maintain your power supply. Real simple and easy. I hope you guys learned something from this, and I, I hope that y'all, you know, see that it was it was quite easy. You know, it's if you know what you're doing and how to do it, then you should be okay. And then with your cables, right? Like your cables can get all dusty and just as dirty. Well, since your towel is full of alcohol now, just run your cables. All right, just run your cables through the towel. And what that will do is that will clean these cables and then what you'll end up with is like that, you know, real real dirty. But that's that's how you clean and maintain them. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope y'all learn something from it uh, you know make sure to smash that like if you guys like this video if you're new to the channel if this is the first time you've ever seen us or have ever seen any of our videos please join us subscribe if you're already subscribed give us that like guys we definitely need it leave us a comment watch some of our other awesome videos you guys can help support us through patreon you can check us out on Facebook and join our group. And as always, you guys be cool and thank you so much for watching. See y'all next time. Peace. And that's it. Thank you. That's all. No more. Peace. Yeah. Well, that was fun. Quick tutorial like that. Hope you guys liked it. Blah, blah, blah. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.